Hey guys, for this week of uh, Blackshot tutorials, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use overlays in Sony Vegas and how to actually do it. It's quite simple actually. Uh, overlaying is, uh, is a um, simple staple tool that um, every editor must know how to use and once you learn that then it's uh, really really easy to make your montage look like uh, better I guess. So uh, without much further ado, let's go into Vegas. Now an overlay basically looks like this. Looks like that. And now what you want to do is, um, I'm sure you guys, uh, if you guys are watching the tutorial here, you guys should know at least how to drag your clips in here. And what you want to do is you drag your clip down. And I cannot stress this enough, but uh, I've seen so many montages with these black lines at the side of uh, the montage videos because all because they use Sony Vegas and they forgot one very important thing that is to uh, disable the aspect ratio for the clip itself so what you want to do every single time you build a clip in here the first thing you must do is right click it you go to event plan and crop and what you do is under source you see maintain aspect ratio uh, you click on that you click on a yes and you select no now as you can see here we created this uh, full size image right here. So now let's get uh, let's get down to the overlay part. Now an overlay is a external clip which obviously you didn't create, but um, yeah, it's effects in it that you want. So you basically want to stack one video on top of the other to produce a, a new result, I guess. So what you want to do in Vegas now is uh, you want to make a new video track. And what you want to do now is you, you, you want to select the part that you want your overlay to come in. Let's say I want my overlay to come in right here. So what I want to do now is I drag my overlay in there. And um, sorry. I drag my overlay in there and um, remember to disable the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio sorry. And um, yeah, that's basically it. But um, as you can see here. Um, it is kind of covering the bottom clip. Like this is this isn't what you want because uh, it doesn't show anything at all. So what people do or what people try to do is they try to lower down the uh, opacity layer, but uh, it doesn't really work in my opinion. So what you want to do now is you see on the bottom left of your screen you see this small green thingy over here just yes, says compositing on Sony Vegas and what you want to do is just click that and and you see all these options and uh, every one of them produces a different result I guess and what you want to do is you want to select screen and boom you have your overlay on top of a clip uh, this is really really a staple uh, tool that every editor must have and if you don't know how to overlay clips then don't try to go any further in editing I guess um, yeah you, you have your clip right now and it's kind of overlay it looks quite nice but the thing is I've seen so many montages where where um, these clips actually make so much use of overlays that uh, it kind of gets repetitive and boring after a while like it kind of looks annoying so um, just a quick tip for you guys Please don't use overlays if you don't have to. Like if you if you have to shorten it, then you you have to shorten it. If it looks too bright, then lower down the opacity layer. How do you do it? Uh, on top of the clip, you see this white line. All you have to do is just drag it down according to how much you want. Let's say I want it at uh, fifty percent, I guess. And uh, boom, there you have it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and. Uh, if you guys can uh, request whatever the hell you want for the next tutorial, I'm quite open actually. After Effects, Sony Vegas, or maybe if you guys do modeling in Maya, you guys can just send me a question and I'll uh, probably try to do a tutorial. Thanks, guys.